Aaron Andrews is one of the most recognizable faces in all of sports journalism. But have you ever wondered what the former Dancing with the Stars co-host was like when she's not out on the court with a mic in her hand? Here's how she got to where she is today. Born to a journalist father and a teacher mother, Erin Andrews and her family relocated from Maine to the Tampa Bay area, where her father had landed a new job when she was a young girl. Her father, Steve Andrews, was well known in the area because of his work as an Emmy Award-winning investigative reporter for local television station WFLA News Channel 8. For some people, he's perhaps even more well-known than his famous daughter. As Andrews told Tampa Magazine, "...my dad is recognized here more than I am." However, that doesn't mean that Andrews isn't recognized when she returns to her old stomping grounds. Far from it. That's because sports are very popular in the region, almost to the point that it's like a religion. According to Andrews, quote, "...I can't go inside a college sports bar. It gets pretty obscene." But long before she was a pillar of sports journalism, Andrews was just a young girl with big dreams living in Florida with her family. It would seem that Erin Andrews was destined to fall in love with sports from the very beginning, as they were practically woven into her DNA. She recalled in an interview with Elle, "...I grew up a daddy's girl. My dad loved sports, and I used to sit on the couch with him and learn about his favorite teams." That included not just learning everything she could about the players, but also the coaches, past and present games, and the various team traditions. But Andrews' passion for sports didn't translate into an urge to play herself. As she continued, "...I never played sports." I was always a spectator, but it was something I really loved doing. All I wanted to do was talk sports. When all the, you know, my girlfriends were out at movie theaters with their boyfriends, I was at our friend's house down the street watching the Chicago Bulls. After a while, she also became a huge fan of the sports broadcasters she would see on television, including the female journalists. Suffice to say, her life's path was becoming very clear. Fortunately for Erin Andrews and many others, high school doesn't last forever. So once Andrews finished up her senior year, it was time for her to figure out her next step, which was a no-brainer for her. She was off to Gator Country at the University of Florida. She explained to Southern Living, quote, "...I knew I wanted to get into sports broadcasting, and Florida had a great journalism program." But that wasn't the only reason that Andrews went to that school. Lots of schools have good journalism programs, but only one school has the Florida Gators. As she put it, "...it may sound silly. I wanted to go to a school with a winning football program. I knew ESPN would be covering strong teams, and I wanted to see that coverage up close." Andrews graduated from UF with a bachelor's degree in telecommunications in 2000. Seven years later, she was honored with the University of Florida's Outstanding Young Alumni Award. It's not always easy to be a recent college graduate looking for work, but luckily enough for Erin Andrews, she was able to land a super exciting job in 2001, less than a year after graduation. She was hired as a rinkside hockey correspondent for the Tampa Bay Lightning. At the outset, however, things didn't seem so rosy, as the team had just hired a brand new coach, who she says prioritized rebuilding the team over cultivating a relationship with the media. As Andrews shared in a chat with the Tampa Bay Times, he was working with one of the worst teams in the league. It had been awful, and he was trying to get them to pay attention and didn't want any distractions. Fortunately, Andrews was able to prove just how good she was, winning the respect of both the coach and the team as a whole. Though it was far from guaranteed, the experience ended up being a positive one. According to Andrews, "...it could have been just a really rough go for me. They were so welcoming and wonderful to me." Once Erin Andrews learned the ropes of sports reporting for the Tampa Bay Lightning, she felt right at home. Not only was she good at asking the tough questions, but she also got close to the coach of the team, who became a mentor to her. So when Andrews received an invitation from Turner Sports in 2002 to report on hockey and baseball in Atlanta, she found herself in a tough position. It was an offer she couldn't refuse. Distraught, Andrews called her parents to solicit their advice. Ever the sage, her father reminded her that reporting on the national level was a smart next step for her career, regardless of the attachment she may have had to the gig she already had. So before the hockey season was over, Andrews tearfully tendered her resignation. After two years with Turner, with no renewed contract in hand, Andrews pitched herself to ESPN. The network eventually ended up offering her a long-term contract after she showed them, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that she had what it takes to be great. I looked at it and threw my computer across the hotel room and called my parents. In 2008, Erin Andrews would have to go through perhaps the most difficult, traumatizing experience of her life. When she was staying in a hotel, a man filmed her while she was nude and uploaded the video to the internet. Naturally, when Andrews found out about the violation and that the video of her undressed had been spread across the internet, she was horrified. I was freaking out so much that when I called my parents, my dad thought I had been injured in a car accident. 
In that moment, not only was she horrified to learn about what had happened to her, but also what the fallout from the incident might be. Honestly, the first thing I said was my career is over. I'm done. Nobody's ever going to take me seriously again. In the end, the perpetrator pleaded guilty and served more than two years in jail for his offenses. Years later, in 2016, Andrews was also awarded $55 million in a civil lawsuit that she filed against the perpetrator, as well as the owner and management company of the hotel in which the crime occurred. A bittersweet victory after an invasive violation that never should have happened. Despite the horrific events of 2008, Erin Andrews' career was not over as she had initially feared, far from it. In fact, just a few years later in 2012, she accepted a new gig over at the Fox Network, continuing her ascent in the world of sports journalism. Speaking in an interview with Shape after the announcement was official, Andrew said, I think I'm most excited about the new opportunities and a chance to expand my role, and just really challenge myself and get better. As Andrews tells it, she didn't have any issues with her previous employer, so that wasn't the motivation for her move. According to her, quote, I was very comfortable and very happy with where I was for the last eight years with ESPN, but this is a chance for me to just get better. You have to admire her ambition. That's not all either, as it was only a couple of years after that that Andrews was given another opportunity. In an unexpected move, it was announced that she would begin working as a co-host on the widely popular reality show Dancing with the Stars, diversifying her career and solidifying her status as a crossover celebrity. Erin Andrews may be passionate about her work and driven to succeed professionally, but that doesn't mean she has no time for love. So when her now-husband, former NHL player Jarrett Stoll, popped the big question to her at Disneyland in 2016, she was absolutely thrilled. We went there for Christmas to see the Christmas decorations, and we had a lovely dinner there, and he did it right there at dinner at Disneyland, yes. He got and on then the knee. He got on the knee. She then proceeded to start, quote, bawling like a child, a reaction which, in this case, is pretty sweet. Erin Andrews has always done her best to be as healthy as possible, but despite her best efforts, Andrews was diagnosed with cervical cancer in 2016, which hit her completely out of the blue. But rather than take time off to get the treatment she needed, she soldiered through work with a serious poker face. She explained in an interview with InStyle, "...being on my feet for about seven hours at a time was very hard physically. But what was even harder was that, because I work with a bunch of men, I didn't want to act like I was sick." Understandably, she didn't want to be perceived as weak or incapable in front of her coworkers, however unfair that would have been. It made for a challenging time in her life, which she said was quite exhausting. Fortunately, Andrews was able to beat the cancer, which she happened to learn while she was backstage with her team at Dancing with the Stars. As she recalled, the doctor said, "'You're good to go, and I'll see you in six months for a checkup,' and it was a ton of relief. Although she fortunately survived the frightening diagnosis and treatment, the brush with the serious medical issue spurred some reflection in Andrew's personal life. She recalled in an interview with Health.com, "...if anything, it was a huge step for my relationship with my boyfriend at the time. We hadn't even been discussing marriage. We hadn't discussed babies." With the cancer posing a threat to her reproductive health, the couple naturally had a reason to finally have those conversations. Though Andrews had chosen to freeze her eggs in the past, she and her husband then decided to undergo in vitro fertilization and also have her embryos frozen. That way, if and when they do decide to have a child, the option will be on the table. As Andrews bluntly put it, "...I'm not young. We don't know when we're going to have a baby. We don't know if this is going to come back. No matter what decision she makes in the future, we wish her and her family all the best." In 2020, in a move that shocked fans of Dancing with the Stars, co-hosts Aaron Andrews and Tom Bergeron were both dismissed from their jobs, according to a report by Deadline. Given that Bergeron had been on the show since its inception in 2004 and that Andrews had been there since 2014, it makes sense that viewers were more than a little surprised to see them go. Rather than make waves or publicly decry the fact that she'd been let go, Andrews instead was a total class act. After the news broke, she wrote in a tweet, Thank you, ABC, and the entire Dancing with the Stars family for six memorable seasons. Those years wouldn't have been as special without my loving host Tom Bergeron, the talented dancers, and witty judges." She added that she'll always treasure the memory she made on the show, even if she claims to have had some difficulties walking in high heels in her glitzy on-camera attire. No matter what, we can't wait to see where she ends up next. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.